Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to export data in bulk from Oracle Fusion ERP Cloud with the help of OIC integration for payable invoices. So in order to achieve this use case, we are having two methods. In this video, we are going to discuss about method 1 and in next video, we are going to discuss about method 2. In method 1, we need to create two OIC integration. One will be scheduled integration and the another will be app driven integration which is exposed over SOAP or HTTPS protocol. Coming to first scheduled integration, this integration we need to design to run at a particular frequency for which we need to export data in bulk from ERP cloud. This integration will use ERP adapter connection to call export bulk data operation from ERP integration service. Once it calls this operation, this integration's job is done. When this process is completed in Fusion side, it will invoke our app driven integration which is exposed over SOAP over HTTPS. This will act as a callback integration in this case. When Fusion invokes this callback integration, it will send the document ID okay, on the on job completion request. Here we are not going to make use of ERP adapter connection. Instead we will make use of SOAP connection and we will create on job completion request visual. I will show you how it looks shortly. In method 2, we will make use of ERP adapter. That will be the only difference between method 1 and method 2. We are going to make use of the request ID, what it has been sent. We will make use of this get document for file presic operation within this ERP integration service, SOAP service. Again, we are going to make use of SOAP connection over here. So, with the help of SOAP service, we are going to fetch the document from the UCM. With the help of this get document for file prefix operation, while calling this operation, we have to make sure we enable mtom so that we get the request in header. Like this, we can get a large size file and write the file to FTP directory. In your case, it might be you want to sync the data between other applications, then you can do. For this use case, we are just writing that file to FTP directory. I have created my integrations with the help of this documentation provided by Oracle. If you export this use cases, you will find the PDF something like this. You can follow the details provided over here in order to build the integration. I have made use of the same. And in order to configure the ERP cloud adapter, you can refer this how you can configure it for a trigger and for the callback and all. And for ERP integration service, here what you have to do is you have to provide the host name of your fusion and generate the visual. Okay, when you generate the visual, you will have those many uh, operations. So in this video, we are going to make use of this get documents for file prefix, export data in bulk. For more details, you can refer this documentation anytime. I've already created those integrations. One is a schedule integration and another is a callback integration. Let me walk you through the schedule integration first. As I told, this integration's job is to run at a specified frequency and call the ERP integration service for this export bulk data operation. So the flow is very simple. Let me open this wizard. Provide some name for this connection. Under action, we have to select this query, create, update, or delete information. In the next, we have to select this ERP integration service and select export bulk data. You can make use of ERP adapter as well as you can make use of this SOAP visitor. Okay, here also, you will find this export bulk data operation. And it will list what, what is the business object we have selected and the operation within. Let me close this. Now in the mapper, we have to provide the job name. From where we are going to get this job name, all those details are mentioned in this document. That is the use case document which we uh, exported just now from here by clicking on the links from the related documentation. Go to setup and maintenance, click on search, go for this managed enterprise scheduler job definitions for finance, supply chain and related applications, this one. And then we have to uh, select accordingly. We have gone for payable transactions. So we will search for payable transactions extract within this display name over here clicking on that will open uh, this window that is um, under managed enterprise scheduler job definition for job sets financial scm and related here under paths you will find this path uh, we need to provide the path next under parameter list we need to provide the details that is what and all parameters it is accepting so for more details you can refer this parameters prompt over here and provide the details or else you can uh, go to any existing uh, scheduled processes in that for any of the instance you can click and check the parameter list over here both the methods will work coming to job options i have provided as extract file type all and in the callback url we need to provide the url of our oic integration that is app driven integration in notification code i am giving this as 30 first letter 3 means 
I need a email and bell notification. Zero means send in any case. If you give 30 and 1, it will be on success email and bell. And if we give 1 and 0, it will be email in any case. Only need on failure. Then we have to select email in case of failures. That is 1, 2. I will provide this details in my blog. Please check out the blog for more details. That's it with this integration. Okay, once it uh, calls this operation that is export bulk data that is to extract the payable invoices, uh, its job is done. So on completion of this job, what it does is Fusion will invoke our callback integration. Uh, that is this ERP bulk extract uh, callback test. Let me open this. As I told, we need to create this integration in order to expose our SOAP or HTTPS protocol. For this, we are going to make use of SOAP connection. So in order to build the SOAP connection as a trigger, uh, you need to build the uh, visual file something like this, okay, which will uh, be made use only for uh, triggering this integration. I will provide the sample visual in my blog. Please check out the blog for more details. Now suppose in case uh, in future, if Oracle changes the namespace, then uh, what you need to do is you need to change this oracle.com ERP integration to whatever a namespace oracle uh, comes up with in future okay usually it won't change it will have a request id state a request message on job completion details so once you create this connection we need to consume it as a trigger over here then we need to call this get document for file prefix operation within this soap erp integration service okay that's what i have done here i have made use of this soap visitor that is over here in this documentation okay just name uh, rename this server name with your host and copy this into a browser and you will get the visitors copy it and create a connection and consume it over here i'm selecting get document for file prefix over here and uh, keeping everything as uh, default here uh, we have to make sure we are selecting this accept attachments uh, in response in mtom we need to enable the mtom over here that's it uh, in the request we need to uh, generate string something like this ess underscore and it will be having the request id request id is the request id of your export uh, bulk data operation which you uh, called in your schedule integration with underscore bip report 01 so this will be a file prefix in your ucm server for the extract created account i'm giving fin uh, payable exports over here and in comments uh, processed by on job completion request id something like this you can provide that's it i will provide those details like what will be prefix account and uh, comments uh, in my blog once you get the request you will get the reference and that reference you have to write to ftp server in your case if you want to sync that data with any other application that you could do in this use case i have considered this file extract i am writing to ftp server now we will test this integration so i will trigger this integration now i have triggered this integration and i got the tracking we will go to tracking and monitor scheduled integration job is completed let's check the request id this is the request id which we got from fusion let's copy this if you want to search in uh, fusion in schedule processes you can search and uh, get the status but we won't do that in this video let's wait for a couple of minutes so that fusion will call our callback integration okay then we'll resume yeah, it has called our callback integration as you could see over here i had copied earlier uh, the request id in my clipboard let me search yeah it's the same thing printing the request id as my primary identifier in the callback so let's check uh, whether it has written to ftp yeah we could see uh, the file write has been completed so like this uh, we can get the extract from fusion and uh, write to ftp or sync the details with any other applications this is one of the use cases you could leverage it to extract the details from erp cloud for any other transactions not only for payables in our next video we are going to learn how we can export the bulk data from oracle erp cloud what we are going to extract will be same but the method how we are going to extract will differ in this case we have made use of soap connections in next video we are going to make use of erp adapters thank you for joining us in this video